After months of tough negotiations, efforts to broker Mideast peace were dealt a setback Thursday. Israel abruptly breaking off peace talks, protesting a reconciliation agreement between the Western-backed Palestinian Authority and the militant group Hamas. They cannot say they're a peace partner if they're embracing the most violent and extreme enemies of peace. Israeli officials say they'll return to negotiations once the deal with Hamas is reversed. A group blamed for killing hundreds of Israelis in suicide bombings Palestinian leaders say it's just another attempt to undermine the possibility of a two-state solution. This is really not just irresponsible and short-sighted. This showed really a lack, it shows a lack of seriousness of intent and a certain degree of malice. Despite Israel's decision, the U.S. State Department refused to acknowledge the peace process was on life support. Secretary of State John Kerry saying there's always a way forward. We will never give up our hope or our commitment for the possibilities of peace. We believe it is the only way to go. But right now, obviously, it's at a very difficult uh, uh, point. One of many difficult points for the U.S. in a peace agreement that's proven elusive for decades. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press.